Hey what's up guys welcome back with Anfas Ahmed today we are going to unbox and install a uh, uh, UPS that's from ProLink Line Interactive UPS the UPS is used for uh, whenever the power cuts is gone it is useful to power on the your computer or your CCTV cameras and other electronic devices you can use it for uh, laptop charging also and first of all we will unbox the UPS then we will install the UPS to my PC let's go in first we will unbox then we will inst uh, install to the PC let's unbox this is the UPS today we are going to unbox and install first of all we will unbox it and we will go to installing this is the ProLink line intersective UPS uh, this the ProLink is uh, available at uh, the main branches are Singapore, Malaysia and you can take uh, technical supports from Singapore, Malaysia and Indonesia. Uh, the, there are some addresses you can find in the website. I will put the link of the ProLink in the description. And the features are uh, you can fa charge this one super fast and th uh, this has a feature of true AVR and this has four universal sockets and wide input voltages and the specifications are you can input up to 140 volts and the frequency is 50 to 50 or 60 and the phase is single plus ground and the output voltage is 230 volts and the battery mod battery is 230 AC voltage and the frequency is 50 Hertz for outputs and time the response time is 2 milliseconds the battery type is 12 volt and the backup time is 8 to 30 minutes when there is a 8 to 30 minutes depending on the load and the rechargeable time is 2 to 4 hours and the protection or the monitoring uh, it has short circuit protection surgical protection alarm UPS protection including load auto sensoring and uh, abnormal protection and the overload protection is line mode is 110 to 120 percentage for 5 minutes and the in the battery mode 100 to 110 percent alarm and shutdown in 10 seconds and uh, the noise level of this is maximum 40 decimals and the temperature will be 0 to 40 celsius and the humidity will be maximum of 90 percentage and 0 minimum and the other features and benefits super fast charging surgical protection advanced early warning of ups shutdowns intelligent battery management over temperature protection overload protection if i say why you are using prolink ups's in today's 24 7 business environment and the ability to ensure the computer systems and mission critical application are up to and running and at all times ice is viral the most frequent cause of system wide failure stems from common problems all of which can threaten our networks business networks and functionalities as well as the computer reputation and losing of tens of thousands of several million dollars per minute when networks go down is a step price to pay when premium power protection is just available from prolink and now let's unbox this one let's open there are ready forms and a polythene bag soon as you open this the box you have the prolink guide and the quick start guide there are so many instructions if you don't know how to install be very careful this would be dangerous because of this contact the power the main electricity power let's take it out first of all let's take this ready form off and the other side also and the polythene cover and this is the power and charging 
for UPS here you can see a reset button here you can see there are four universal sockets and there are two LAN ports for and there is a main power on power off switch here the branding UPS super fast charging speed you can charge this with super speed now let's go to our PC and let's install this UPS before that be careful and be reminded that you should charge this for at least eight hours this will be very according to the power of the UPS we have a normal basic PC uh, if you want to see our PC you can check in the card here I have put a video about how to fix the three beep sound uh, how to fix that you can see in the card and I will put in the description hey guys this is the UPS now we unbox and I have already charged it and now we will plug uh, to the uh, main power and you should plug the CPU the system unit and the monitor to the UPS universal socket and uh, you can if you have any speakers subwoofers you can plug to the other two now let's plug sorry but uh, now I'm not going to plug this you try it at your home please subscribe my channel we will see in my next video don't forget to like my video thank you bye let's meet next week